four coins. Oh, is that what those are? One, two, three, four coins. Let's watch them congregate. One, two, three, four coins. Two, three, four. There they are right there. Two and one. Watch number three join. There it is. Hallelujah. One, two, three coins here, and the fourth coin is right here. That's one here and three here. Number four joins just by passing the hand, the left hand, over the right hand. Hallelujah. One, two, three, four coins. Okay, we're going to take the same four coins and we're going to do the same thing, but we'll do it to a more confined space. X marks the spot right on the center of that table. Four coins is what we have. One, two, three, four coins. I'm going to send each of these right through the table in a magical but not ostentatious manner. Watch the first coin goes right through the table into my waiting and throbbing right hand. Hallelujah. Three left behind, and there's the first one. There's one here, a three here rather, and one here. Number two joins number one underneath the table. But first, remember, I already took one coin out. Number two joins just like a magic trick. That's two here, and I have these two here. I'll send number three to join one and two. One and two, and now number three, just like that. So we have one, two, three, and the fourth coin is right here. Or as they say in Italy, the fourth coin is right here. One, two, three coins. I will send the last one to join these three. Trust me, folks, I only have three coins there, and the fourth coin really is right there. Number four joins number three. One, two, three. I get no respect from these coins. One, two, three, four coins. I'll need a deck of cards. Actually, I only need one card. And it doesn't matter what the identity of the card is. This is what we're going to use. Queen and three coins. Brush gently. Bingo. And the coin is gone. Watch number two. You'll never guess what's going to happen. It too is evaporated. We'll work with number three. Just like this. Watch number three get very small. And small. Well, yes, it's getting smaller and smaller and smaller. And it appears where you knew it would, right here. Allow me to introduce you to my wand. Obviously a low-budget show, but it's the only wand that I can show in public without getting arrested again. Watch. One, two, three, and oh, oh, excuse me, it's a shy pen. Picked it up in Illinois. Watch. I rub briskly and it goes right through the hand. It evaporates. I pick the seed up and watch it grow into a coin. Usually it works. Let me try this seed. Hallelujah. One, two, three, and there it is again. Let me take this coin. Let me introduce you to that wand again. Boom. And the coin appears just where you knew it would, impacted inside that pen cap. I know what you're thinking. Why doesn't he grow up and get a real job? You're also wondering why this coin behaves this way. If you look closely, you'll see that he has a thyroid condition. Actually, this coin, folks, is rubber. It's the only way that I can hide it. But if I snap my fingers, it becomes solid. Just like that. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm glad you're still here. Watch. We're going to need four aces. I'm going to shuffle the cards. Does that look like a legitimate shuffle? No, it looks like the same shuffle as you was experienced in blackjack last night. Hmm. It is a legitimate shuffle because that's what we need to find the first ace. 26 down. One, two, three, four. Black and red. Watch. Four aces. I'll take two of the same color, the ace of diamonds, and on top of that is a paperweight. I put the other red ace, which is the ace of um, hearts. And if I ask you which one is on top and you say ace of hearts is on top, you are correct. And we'll start right now. Four aces. Oh, is that what those are? Watch, ladies and gentlemen. Allow me to introduce them to you formally. The ace of hearts, ace of clubs, ace of spades, and yay, the ace of diamonds. We have four aces. One, two, three, four. It would be impossible for me to hide the flipping over of cards. You catch me in a New York second. Watch. We'll take the first ace, give it a twist, and uh, we have one, two, three, four. Nothing happens, but I twist it again, and you guessed it, one of the aces turns over. It's almost like a card trick. That was the ace of spades. Let's see if we can get a red one to turn over. Two, three, four, and again, one, 
Two, oh, it was a black one, that's okay. Spades and clubs have turned over. Now we'll get a red one to turn over. One, two, whoops, I think it just did. A little premature, perhaps. That's a problem I have sometimes. We'll work with these three cards. We have one, two, three, four aces. How many did he say? We have one, two, three, four, but it doesn't turn over. At least in my hands, the ace of hearts has turned over. You guessed it, in the middle of the deck. Hallelujah. The ace of hearts goes right here. Hearts, diamonds, clubs, and spades in some order. Diamonds is gone. We snap the fingers and, yep, we have it here. Hearts and diamonds, watch. The hearts and diamonds go together face up in the middle of the deck. We'll take the ace of spades. Oh, is that what that is? Watch, the ace of spades. Bingo, and it's gone. Leaving us just with the ace of clubs, hallelujah. And in between the two red aces, you guessed it, we have the ace of spades. Would I lie to you about something as serious as one of the world's great card tricks? We have one, two, three, and four. Watch the ace of spades. It goes right here. And over here we have two red aces and a black one, the ace of clubs. That's one, two, three. Watch the last ace. He knows what's going to happen. And he'll try to escape. But it's not enough. We'll just take him and add him just like this so that we have four aces. Hallelujah. One, two, three, four aces. Two queens and an ace. Watch, folks. I'll take that ace, put it right here, and put it right between the two red queens. One, two, three. And it turns over. <laughs> It's almost like a trick, ladies and gentlemen. We'll take the ace again. Watch. A little sandwich, that's what we call it. And the ace turns over, a lucky ace. Let's do it face up, so maybe you can see better what's really happening here. Well, not really, I hope. Watch the ace the third time we do it, it stretches. One, two, three, one, two. It stretches just like that. And now we're ready. I ask you to bet where the black ace is, and you, not being born tomorrow, naturally bet in the middle, and of course you are correct. I take the top card, put it in the bottom, I ask you to bet where the ace is, and again, you saw me put the top card on the bottom, so you know that the ace is now on top. Again, I shall pretend to put the black ace on the, top this, on the bottom this time, and you know that it will be on top. Again, I'll pretend, but again, the ace stays on top. Some people say, oh, Gary, I think you have an extra black ace or two there. And I say, no, that's not true. That wouldn't be dishonest. And besides, let me show you. I have a queen of diamonds here, a queen of hearts here. Excuse me, a queen of diamonds there and a queen of hearts there. I take the black ace, put it on top, and the ink is heavier, so it will sink to the bottom just like this. This time, I shall isolate the black ace from the two red queens and watch it change places. That was pretty quick, wasn't it? Watch the black ace. I push it in just like this, and you know what happens. It goes right to the bottom. At this point, you may suspect that the black ace is the only card I have, and you're correct. Others say, au contraire, I could have sworn that imbecile had a, uh, three red queens. Well, there's one red queen, another red queen, and in fact, another red queen. But if I rub one of these just like this and blow, it becomes a black ace. All right, folks, we're ready to start, just like this. Are you ready? Are you watching? Good. We're going to need a couple of cards to do this. I'm going to show you a high-class technique of cheating, but promise me you will not use this knowledge in the casinos without cutting me in for 15%. I'll cut to the first ace, which happens to be right about here. There it is, the ace of diamonds. Next ace, I think I saw it about 60% down. There it is right there. The third ace is near the top, if I remember, about 12 cards down. And the last ace, you guessed it, should be about, um, right about dead center now. There it is, four aces, and that's what we're going to use. I'm going to show you a technique of cheating. Promise me you will not use it in the casinos. Four aces. We have one, two, three, four. This is called palming. I never heard of it till a week ago, but since then I've been working real hard on it. Two, three, four. Watch me take the second ace and hide it in the folds of my flesh, and I shall add it to the first one. So we have two right here. That leaves us with two here and two here. The ace of spades is now getting smaller and smaller, and I can just palm it just like that. And that leaves me with just the ace of diamonds like this, 
Hallelujah. Three aces here. The last ace is right here. Watch the ace of diamonds. Oh, is that what that is? X marks the spot. I rub. Oh, let me try that again. One, two, three. I'm trying to hide it in my hand. And there it is, just like that. I'll add it just like this. It's not here. It wouldn't be a magic trick if that ace were right there. Actually, I can just reach right here and add it just like this. So we now have one, two, three, four aces.